Remember that video on what questions a UX researchers can ask you during your UX interview? They will typically spend about 20 to 25 minutes grilling you on their questions. That's only one side of the story. The other side of the story is the 5 to 10 minute golden window for you to ask any questions that you might have. Yes, the roles have flipped. The dynamic has shifted. Always ask questions. Always have questions ready to ask. This is where you shine. This is where you make your grand comeback. Jokes aside, these 5 to 10 minutes is the perfect time for you to get to know about the researcher, the team, the culture, the company, etc. In this video, I'm going to go over 17 questions that you could ask the UX researcher after they grill you with their questions. I will break them down into three categories so they can pick and choose what to ask based on what you care about the most. Thank you Julia for requesting and advocating for this topic and this is also going to be another informative and informational video so grab your favorite drink and let's get into it y'all. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. I broke all the questions down into three categories. So first I have general questions mostly about their experiences, their past experiences, their skills, and then personal questions that are more related to them personally. And then job dependent questions because different job functions might have different set of things that you want to know. So those are the main categories. I keep a feel in each category but of course I have a more comprehensive list for my only fan members, I mean Patreon members. So stay tuned for that announcement. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. The first question you can always get to ask is, what's your past experience working with a designer? Does that sound familiar? Yeah, literally you flip the question back to them. Because when they ask you, the first question is typically, can you walk me through how you work with a user researcher, right? So in this case, the roles have flipped. So you ask them the same question, but how do they? How did they work with UX designers? Next, can you give an example where you disagree with designers and how did you resolve it? This is a classic, classic conflict resolution question that you will get a lot from interviewers. So now it's your chance to interview them. So you can ask them the same question back. It's also helpful for you to know if you guys were working together, what you can expect them resolving issues or disagreement between you and them. Good to know. Can you walk me through an example of using user research data to inform design decision? This is very similar to a separate question, which is, can you give me an example of how UXR, you, how UX research influence UX design choices or decision? They are pretty much the same question. Ultimately, what you're getting at is, how have they used user research informed design? Any insights from user research get translated into a smarter, more strategic design choices. Because if they have not done that, maybe it's a next. What kind of research methods do you use? Which one is the most effective? This is similar to what type of data do you collect? Quantitative, qualitative. What kind of research did you do? Did you work on before? So it could come in many flavors. Well, quantitative, qualitative are two standard ones. And within them, there are so many different ones. You no know, longitudinal study, diary study, uh, semi-structured interview, survey, questionnaire, etc. This is good to know, especially if you have done research by yourself before as a designer, and you know what works for you. And if they have done similar things, well, great. Then you can probably expect a smooth collaboration. Next, have you done any research that you don't think is worth doing? And if so, why and how did it happen anyway? This is an interesting one because this not only talked about how they think about their past project, it also hints that what the company culture could have been, because if you're considering joining, that's also useful information to know, and how they handled the situation reflected their point of view and maybe their solution to the problem. Next, who initiated the user research? Is it typically themselves? Is it from the top? Is it UX, R, UX, prototyping, past data, uh, marketing, survey, legal, engineering? 
That also helps you understand the org, the organization, and the culture. Is it more coming from the design team itself, or coming from from the top, very a top down、uh, organization culture or organization structure? What is it? You can find out more with this question. Next is that. Imagine I'm working with you, so it's kind of constructing a scenario. Hypothetically speaking, we are trying to design the next iteration of Apple Pay. So I'm the designer, you are the researcher. Walk me through how we will work together on it. So this is allowing them to picture themselves working with you, the designer. So you can see how their thought process work. This is literally you interviewing them with this question. So you can anticipate if you are working with them in the future down the road at that company, what would that collaboration like? What would they need from you? What would you ask them to do? And what do you guys expect from each other from a UXD to UXR standpoint? And my note is, this is a good question to ask. So next we'll hop into the more personal questions.、Uh, it's not like personal that they are sensitive that they don't want to answer, but more like how they personally think about the experience, their project, the company, the culture. This is more or less independent from the experience or the past. It's literally about understanding them as a person, as a UX researcher. So first, what do you enjoy the most about user research? Everybody has a story. Like they get into user research for some reason. Like, what is their reason? What brings them joy in the research process? Because if you sense that they are really passionate about research because of some nitty gritty detail about, I don't know, understanding human psychology or talking to users, that means they really love what they're doing. And if they love what they're doing, it's really fantastic to work with those people. That's always one of my favorite questions to ask, and not always have time to ask. <sighs> Next. Why did you join this company, and what keeps you here? I ask this question a lot because I want to know the people that I'm working with will they come and go soon, and what keeps them there. This also helps me understand what is it about this company that is so good that I should join. Maybe they join for some reason. Maybe they still stay there for some reason. And I want to know what those are because that could help me make my decision. It fueled my decision making process. Next. What are some problems that you're excited about doing research on at this company? With this question, you know how passionate they are, what they're excited about, which is also related to the previous two questions. But also, you get a hint, you get a glimpse of what is upcoming or what is happening at the company by asking that.、Uh, especially if you sign an NDA, they should be able to tell you that no problem. Next, what is your ideal working relationship with a UX designer? This is actually a very good question to ask because you get right to the point.、Uh, a little blunt, but it could be okay.、Uh, they should have thought of it, or they should know the answer because, as they're working with designers, assuming they have worked with designers before, there will be conflict, right? Disagreement here and there, but there will be also be something that goes really well. And of course, through that process, they will know what they like, what they want, what they hope to see, and. They should tell you about it here. Last personal question: How would you describe the design team culture in this company? This is an interesting question to ask, especially if you ask multiple people the same question. Because from this question, you ask a UX researcher, you get their point of view, and you get maybe another view from another designer on the team. Maybe another one on a prototype on the team. Another one on the hiring manager. So with four answers, you can start to see maybe some consistency or discrepancy. That gives you signal about whether they are aligned on the same page or talking about the same thing. My personal experience, I have asked the same question to two different people, and they give me polar opposite answers. And at the different companies, I ask the same question to three different people. Their answers are quite consistent with each other, so that's a great sign, right? Polar opposite, consistent answers. So that concludes personal questions. Next is job dependence. So their specialization, their experts in. So for example, UX researchers can specialize in many areas. Accessibility being one of them. So if they are, if they specialize in that area, you can ask them, what are some accessibility problems that you help tackle these days at this company? It's a fair question to ask. So you get to understand how their specialty will play in、uh, about the product development of、uh, this company, and maybe that's something that you're weak at that you can learn about. So it's good to ask that. Next is what are some 
examples of unique problems that this company has and nowhere else has. And just to clarify, this is more like UXR problems that they would do research on. So maybe let's say drone delivery companies, there will be specific UXR problems on uh, studying people's impression and the acceptance of drones. That's pretty unique to drone companies and Apple does not have, they don't have drones. So they might not have this, people might be scared or opposed to very radical new technologies problem. And that's what you would get from here. And that will be related to what you might be working on because you're on the same team. That's how you find out. So if a researcher is good at rapid testing, you can ask them like how many A-B testing rapid research you have done and what are those? So you can get a glimpse of how fast they do this research and if they're relevant to your design, like you constantly need like, oh, I have two design options, which one I should go with? They will be able to help you with that. Next, do you have an example of the most involved discovery research that you have done? So this is, I guess, more specifically to discovery research uh, experts. So they are good at seeing this very ambiguous landscape and trying to find, okay, identify patterns of users and behaviors. Discover research, seeking known from the unknown. Or you can ask about, can you walk me through one quantitative research you did and how you collect and analyze those data? Because sometimes you need analytics, metrics, uh, ties to business goals and uh, impacts, KPI, OKR, and Quantitative data is one good way to, to do that, to measure these things. And through, through this question, you should be able to find out like what kind of things they measure, this company measures, and what software that they use. Are they gonna use an extensive Excel or Google Sheet, some sort of formula to calculate the p-value and doing all those computation and data analysis? Or it's very simple uh, average or mean or medium number. Something you will find out about. And that concludes the 17 questions that you could ask a UX researcher. Any questions? If you do, leave the question in the comment section down below. Well, I know that's a lot of questions to go through in one sitting. So thank you for staying with me. If you like a copy of these questions, leave a comment down below. Shoot me an email, mention your YouTube username so I know you left a comment. And then I will send you this within the next 24 hours. And all of these instructions will be also in the description box down below. And you know, understanding what to ask your interviewer and answering their question, both are quite important in helping you strike a great impression and ace the round of interview. If you want to find out what hiring managers, product managers, engineers, user researchers will ask you in a UX interview, great news because I've used my best craft and design thinking to capture all those in these videos for you. Check them out right there. Like and subscribe to support this very small channel and keep designing a better future. See you all in the next video. Cheers.